No, I've always liked trees, even when I was a kid. I mean, all the others would be climbing them, carving their initials on them, you know, tree houses, and I'd be taking rubbings. So I suppose it's no surprise I've wound up doing what I'm doing. No, I wasn't being rude. I said birch. Birch. It's a kind of tree. I studied botany and horticulture in Manchester, got a job in a garden centre. Did that a while. Now here I am. Well, it could be touch old disease. Mm, yeah. But stay indoors if I were you. At least a couple of days. I've been the tree officer at the council here for 13, nearly 14 years. I'm in charge of all the public trees. Plants, shrubs, that all comes back to me. There's three of us in the office. Matt started two years ago as a temp. Been here ever since. Matt, how do you enjoy working here? Yeah, I twigged quite early on that it was a good branch to work at. I don't get lumbered with too much work, so it's not too sapping. That's why I don't leave. And Avril's been here longer than I have. She's very committed. She's not the best with computers. Something to do with static, I think. And there's the thing with the arm. That crops up from time to time. And you can't feel anything? Not a thing, no. It's all waxy. It's like clay. But that aside, she's a real asset to the team. Reliable, to an extent. Quite often punctual. I really can't praise her enough. She's a... Uh... It's a pleasure to work for Gary. I've never met anyone quite like him. He's a remarkable man. I mean, he wears sandals. To work. Well, when I started here, I saw an opportunity to really breathe some life into this town, you know. A chance to sow the seeds of my experience the benefit of the greater community. It's an industrial town, but why not an Eden industrial town? Even just advising what to put where, you know. A willow, a sycamore, a larch. But no. Day in, day out, I'm inundated with calls from people wanting me to chop them down. It's too tall. It's in my sun. It's dropping leaves in my garden. And I give them all the same answer. It's a tree. That's what they do. It's such a shame. Gary loves trees and he just sits in there every day signing death warrants. I think it's hilarious. Oh, Matt, it's a shame. No, no, it is. It's a shame. And hilarious. Yes. I mean, this is what I've got to put up with. Hello, yeah. I've got this complaint. There's this tree next to my garden and there's this branch that overhangs my drive, right? And I want you to come and chop it off because birds are coming and sitting on it and they're shitting in my drive. It's all over the place. And they're eating the berries. And the berries are red. Some of the shit's red. And I keep sniffing in it. So what do you do about that? Nothing. It's birds. It's pest control. So you don't do anything? Well, I play it to people. It's funny. Avril, where's the breakdown of July's expenditure? It's under G. G? For July. They're very similar, Gary and Matthew. And they're very efficient. They both have beards. Look at this. A single bit of A4 paper, 6,090 staples. Now, you'd expect to fit double that amount onto a bit of A3 paper, right? Wrong. 12,273. That's 93 more staples. How's that? It's in the blue folder. Avril, they're all blue. The one marked P. P? For finance. Gary, it really is very unlikely. We're, we're out of staples. What? Oh, get Avril to order some more. Anyway, Mrs. Marshall, um, I... we need to get some A2 paper. What? Sorry, Mrs. Marshall, just a sec. What for? Um, research. Oh, yeah, all right. Uh, get Avril. Oh, Matt! Yeah? This is the fourth call I've had about Dutch elm disease this morning. Really? Yes. Do you know anything about it? About Dutch elm disease? Mm, no. No, about the phone calls. 
No, Mrs. Marshall, it won't be Dutch elm disease. No, it's more likely the leaves are falling off because it's September. Watch this. That's her. Look, a vet doesn't spend five years at vet school so he can spend the rest of his career putting down hamsters, does he? No. It's hardly a test of his expertise. No, you can drown a hamster in a cup of water. Well, exactly. Point is, Gary really does know his stuff. No, there's no doubt that Titchmarch is a very clever man, but, you know, so was Hitler. Christ, Avril, it's not even plugged in. I mean, I could do his job. Me too. I hate trees. Yeah. You can't always do exactly what you like, can you? But doesn't it all frustrate you? A bit. But what can you do? You can't force people to garden. It's a case of you can lead a horse to water or water feature, but you can't make it drink or interested in sod laying. This woman phoned up. Oh, I've got this tree outside my window and I want you to come and get rid of it. And I'm like, why? I can't see down the street, she said. OK, what's down the street? And she didn't have an answer for that. But I get by. So do lots of people. You find a way. So is there anything you'd rather be? Squirrel, probably. Or a pine martin. No, what I meant was... Oh. Gary, happened again. Sometimes Avril doesn't earth herself properly. Tries to use the photocopier. Excuse me. Hello, you're through to Gary Dremel, tree officer. Please leave a message after the beep. Oh, hello. I wonder if you can help me. I've heard a rumour regarding an epidemic of Dutch elm disease. I was wondering if that would affect flowering shrubs or bedding plants in any way. It's just that I've got children, you see. Can you feel that? No. Or that? No, nothing. What about that? No. 